Alright folks, let's get one thing straight right away. The 850R Magnum is a great rifle and out of the box it shoots very accurately. Inch groups and less at up to 30 yards and even further are definitely possible. But if you want to improve your performances even more, there are ways to tune this rifle by yourself and make it even better. The mod that I'm about to show you requires very little investment and all you need is a little bit of time and a little bit of patience. Alright, let's get it done. The trigger of the 850R Magnum is pretty good out of the box, but it does have a little bit of creep at its second stage. With this mod, we're gonna get rid of it. Okay, first things first. Everything that's attached to the system needs to go. In my case, it's the scope. Also, check that your rifle is completely discharged and of course remove your CO2 source if it's still attached to your rifle. Next, we'll have to remove the two hex screws that are holding the system to the stock. On my edition of the 850, which is the classic, you cannot remove the system from the stock before you remove the barrel, so it needs to go. To extract the pin, I'll use an M4 screw, which fits nicely inside the pinhole. Just insert the screw inside the pinhole and tap it gently with a hammer to push the pin out. Now that the pin is gone, you can remove the barrel and the system can come off the stock. Use a 6mm wrench to remove the bolt lever. Now this is important guys, don't forget to set the magazine lever to the open position before you open the system, otherwise you'll be in a whole lot of trouble when you need to put it back together. Okay, now let's unscrew these four screws that hold the system together. Time to open it up. Now take your time, go easy and gently so that the parts inside the system don't move around. See that little hole just there? That's what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to drill a little hole and put a screw in there. Now, as you can see, each time you use the trigger, it presses onto the sear, which then releases the hammer. Now, by adding that little screw in the hole, you will maintain the sear in a certain position so that the hammer will just have to barely touch the sear to release the hammer. Okay, first we're gonna have to remove the sear. So just take it out gently. Don't lose the pin. and put it aside with its pin and spring. With the waterproof marker, mark the exact spot where you're gonna have to drill your hole. Now the distance to the left and to the right of the hole should basically be the same. Close down the system now, very gently. and screw it down. Don't over tighten the screws. Go easy. Now before you start drilling it's very important that you use tape to wrap around the entire system so that any metal shavings that you will create by the drilling will not fall inside the system. So you'll need to cover up everything.
Now, there's a little hole where the sear used to be. You also need to fill it with something so that the metal shavings don't fall inside. Now, I happen to have some watchmaker's gum, which is very useful because I can just press it in there and it will stick in there and it will actually capture all those metal shavings. All right, it's time to get to the drilling. Now use a metal drill bit. I think I used a three millimeter bit because it was the right size for um, the grub screw. Don't run your drill at full speed. You'll kill the bit and you'll mess up your hole. Instead, run it very slowly. Once you're done, unscrew the top part of the system again and open it up. After removing your gum or whatever you put in there, just put back the sear very gently. And you can actually close up again. You're done. If you experience any issues when you close the system, um, check out the parts inside. They may have moved a little bit. Also, check the little bolts um, they sometimes tend to move around and you can't close anymore. Here's my grub screw. I actually had some leftovers uh, because I bought some when I filled the holes of the barrel of the gun uh, that appeared when I removed the iron sights. And they're actually the perfect size for that. Three millimeters in diameter and probably three or four millimeters long they're just fine so just put it in the hole add a little bit of VD40 so that it screws in a little bit easier and screw it in then put back the bolt lever now after having cocked the system start turning the screw in until the shot releases and then turn back your screw by about half a turn. Recock and back. Perfect. No more creep. Let's test it for oversensitivity. Just bump it around a couple of times and see if the shot doesn't release itself. You will probably have to redo that test once the rifle is assembled. Uh, if you want to be able to adjust your screw when it's back in the stock, you'll have to measure the distance between the original screw hole and your own screw. And you'll have to report that distance on the stock and drill a hole for your screw in it. And you'll have to do the same in the trigger guard so that your holes align perfectly. Also make sure that they're perfectly vertical so that your Allen key fits nicely. Um, while we're at it, let me show you another mod that I did. I actually polished the inside of the barrel to facilitate uh, pellet loading. But I do not advise you to do this mod if you're not very sure of yourself because you can really ruin your barrel. If you still choose to go for it, be very careful not to remove too much material. Alright, let's clean up the system. Remove any excess oil and fingerprints. Once you've put it back inside the stock, it's time to reattach the barrel. Now for the last part of the hammering, I actually use my M4 screw to put back the pin and avoid damaging the stock. Okay, let's tighten the screws uh, around the trigger guard. And once that is done, we're all set. Now to adjust your second stage, cock the rifle and turn your Allen key until the shot is released. And turn it back about half a turn. 
And the creep is gone. Let's see. Duck. Nice and dry. Alright guys, that's it. As you can see, this wasn't rocket science. I hope that you're successful in applying this mod to your own rifle. And let me know in the comments if your groupings improved. Alright, shoot safe, take care, bye.